Here is the first lesson for Motion 1. I'm going to show you how to open up a file and create a new file and how to import um, some material into Motion so you can start working on it. So at the bottom of the screen you're going to see an icon for Motion. You can click on that and it opens up a project browser. You have your blank and you have five different types. You have your motion projects and then you have Final Cut uh, projects that will automatically import into Final Cut once you export them and publish them and then you can open them up in Final Cut how you need to. Um, you have recent so anything that you've worked on recently you can go there and pick that up very quickly. Compositions are created they're Im already imported into Final Cut so you can just open these up um, and you can adjust them. These are compatible with Motion and with Final Cut. And then you have your Final Cut um, projects down here again. So we're going to just open up a blank Motion project. You have your presets uh, your sizes and then your frame rate and then how long it is. Um, so our project we're going to have at 10 seconds. You could do this with frames or you could do it with a time code or with seconds. We're just going to use seconds. And here you have your bottom, your resolution, your aspect ratio and what type it is. So we're just going to hit open and this is our window that we use. Over here we call this the inspector window, the file browser, library, all these three tabs up here. Normally I'll just call it the inspector because that's where we're going to do a lot of our uh, options. Over here this is our project pane. This is where our layers are so you might hear it called the layers window or layers pane. The big black area is your canvas and then the bottom is your timeline and this is where you can change the uh, objects where they go in the timeline or adding keyframes uh, which will be in subsequent lessons. So we're going to go to our file browser and we're going to find our videos. So uh, if you click on any of these, it will open up the files that are in there and you can find any videos that you're looking for if you know exactly where they are. So like if a, I wanted to open up a movie or anything like that, I just go to movie files or if I'm importing a Photoshop document, pictures or anything that I want to do. So we're going to look for a file that I've created for this first one and it's also included in one of the textbooks I use and in the media we're going to use skier. Now, uh, we're going to take this and click on it and then you see a preview of it and it also will if it has sound, it'll play it unless I mute it. It will tell me what uh, compression I'm using, what size I'm using, how long it is, and what our frame rate is. Now you can do two things with this um, to get it over into the canvas area. I can hit import, which will center it up automatically, or I can drag it over to my screen and there we have that. So I'm going to undo command Z to undo and import and it does the same thing. It centers it up and on yours if you want to drag it over and center it two yellow lines, a horizontal line and a vertical line will show up and let you know that it's centered. 